Hello everybody, in this video, I am going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $98,050.16. In the past year, I am up $41,760.75. Year to date for the year 2024, I am currently up $10,000. $854.70 Today was a red day for me. I lost $1,893.04. After hours, I am up $197.41. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I am selling Amazon $200 covered calls. These expire June 21st. My total return, $909. I'm selling Disney $120 covered calls. These expire June 21st. My total return $48. I'm selling Robinhood $16 covered calls. These expire June 21st. Total return. I am down $314. I'm selling LUV $30 covered calls. These expire June 21st. Total return $610. I'm selling PayPal $65 covered calls. These expire June 21st. Total return $370. I'm selling SoFi $9 covered calls. These expire June 21st. Total return, I am down $61.80. I'm selling Verizon $39 covered calls. These expire June 21st. Total return, I am down $64. I'm selling Google $180 covered calls. These expire July 19. Total return, $154. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $186.28. My average cost, $98.95. Total return, $26,202.92. I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $7.28. My average cost, $5.62. Total return, $9,940.20. I have 300 shares of Disney. Disney is at $102.88. My average cost, $60. Total return, $12,864. I have 1,000 shares of Robinhood. Robinhood is at $18.55. My average cost, $17.53. Total return, $1,025. I have 100 shares of Google. Google is at $172.66. My average cost, $142.48. Total return, $3,018. I have 500 shares of Southwest Airlines. Southwest Airlines is at $27.77. My average cost, $28.03. Total return, I am down $130. I have 200 shares of PayPal. PayPal is at $63.94. My average cost, $57.70. Total return, $1,248. I have 200 shares of Verizon. Verizon is at $40.55. My average cost, $39.31. Total return, $248.10.
This is a margin account. My margin total is $110,583.47. My margin used is $97,584.45, which leaves me with $12,999.02 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $47,946.70. This is how much money I can lose before I get margin called, which means I will be forced to sell all of my positions. So I still have about $47,000 left to lose before I am forced to sell all of my positions. My annual interest rate is 6.55%. The daily interest that I'm paying is $17.39 and it says here I'm getting $2,000 interest free. Nothing new here, just another day. I did hit $100,000 after hours yesterday, but now I'm back down to 98, which I'm not too worried. I still think that within the next month I will be back up again above 100,000. But for now, I'm at 98,000. Really not much to say here. Nothing happened today and I didn't do anything new. So I did want to point something out because I've been getting comments recently about my margin. So a lot of people think that this $98,000, all of it is borrowed or they think that the margin that I'm using, right, which is $97,000 worth of margin, which means I'm borrowing $97,000. However, that $97,000 is not included in this amount. The amount that you see up here, $98,000, this does not include any money that's borrowed using margin. The money that I am borrowing using margin, it's not included in my total portfolio value. The total amount of money that I'm borrowing AKA the total amount of margin used is 97,000. However, margin used is completely separate from my total portfolio value. Even if I were to borrow $1 million, I'm still going to have $98,000 as my portfolio value because like I just mentioned, any money that I'm borrowing using margin, it's completely separate from my portfolio value up here. They're two separate things. So don't think that most of the money that's showing up here is actually borrowed money. It's not. I actually have $98,000 of my own money. But in addition to that, I'm also borrowing $97,000 on the side using margin. But again, that is calculated separately. They're not combined together. All right, I just wanted to clear that up because I have been receiving some comments about that recently on my YouTube channel. So now you guys know they're completely separate from each other. My total portfolio value and the total amount of money that I'm borrowing, they're completely separate. All right, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I will be making more videos like this. So if you guys want to see more, please like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Thank you.